Hello all you Conan Exile fans out there, it's Granny Gamester back with another beginner's guide to Conan Exiles and I am playing on the PlayStation 4 single player. And in today's guide I'm going to talk about the best cold weather to armor to get very early game. Yeah, as soon as level 20 you should be able to go up into the cold with no problem in most areas most areas. So let me show you the armors. Now the first one that I want to talk about and the very easiest one you can get is the Kabushin Shaman which I am wearing. So let me show you where that is in your feats. So you want to go into feats, you want to scroll over to armor Oops. and then you want to scroll down until you get to Savage Armors and this is where you're going to find this set and it's right here. Now this gives you three bars of protection from the cold. Uh, not a lot, but if you bring spiced food with you, you should be fine in just about uh, any area up north. Now the next one, this uh, by the way, you can get at level 20. Then at level 30, you can also get the greater armors. And the one in here is the Hyrcanian set and that is right down here and this is the same it gives you three bars of protection from the cold and along with spiced foods you should be fine in the cold so these are very early on to make you make these at your regular armors bench so let me show you what they are and what they take to make so our first one is the uh, kabushin and that is right here and as you can see that's going to take medium padding and thick hide so you need to be able to make thick hide and medium padding is right here and that takes leather and twine no biggie easy to make and then your next one is the Harkanian and that is up here And as you can see, this takes heavy padding and elephant hide. You get a little more protection, uh, you know, as far as damage goes. This is an armor value of 61, while this one is an armor value of 168. So uh, this is the better bet if you're going to do any battling up there. But again, this takes heavy padding. And to make heavy padding, you need to be able to make thick leather which you should be able to do by now. So those are the two armors that I highly recommend uh, earlier in the game. And again, the set that I have on is the uh, Kabushin Sh uh, Shaman set. I have dyed it so it looks a little different. Normally it's like an olive green in color, etc. So the spiced food that I like to get because it's easy to get is the spiced pork. Now that can be made at your regular stove. You get that at the beginning of the game as a recipe in uh, cooking one. And it looks like so down here. It only takes uh, raw pork and spice. Now, unfortunately, raw pork is from boars. And to get that, you need to be able to go up to, let's get out of here, whoops get onto our map. There's so much lag here. <laughs> you need to be able to go up into this area to find some boars uh, to, to get the raw pork. But there's still another easier way to get it without doing that. And that is by going to Supermaru. And you want to go right here on the west wall side. So I will meet you there and show you where to get it. Okay, so here we are on the west side of Supermaru. And what you want to do is just head right in back of this group here. You've got the dancer and you've got some guys watching here, hooting and hollering. Right behind him is Ephirmus the Broker. And what he's going to do is let you purchase spiced pork for silver coin. Now for one piece of spiced pork, it's going to cost you one silver coin. So yeah, pretty easy. I've got quite a few. So let's just punt, uh, purchase a whole bunch of those. And yeah, easy peasy. You don't have to do anything else. And if you loot a lot of chest in Supermarule, you will have had uh, quite a few silver coins by now. Yeah, so that's as easy as it is to get. 
So let's take a look at on the map exactly where this armor is going to allow you to go. Now you will be able to go into any of these snowy areas here without even the spiced food with this armor. So let's just go right here. Okay, so here we are on the map, which is right here. And as you can see, uh, the little circle that has the thermometer in it, which is right below my health and stamina bar, you can see that I'm cold, but I am not losing any health. I am fine. And you're fine as long as you're cold or very cold. When you're extremely cold, you will start to lose health. Now I'm going to go a little bit further north here and as you can see it is still not bothering me at all. So uh, yeah, no problem in this area and again that is pretty much the whole uh, map here. There are two areas though that you want to be very careful in and I will show you those right now. Okay, so here we are in front of the Bridge of the Betrayer. And let me show you where that is on our map. Uh, that is right here. Now, if you're headed up to this area, you want to get to the Black Keep. This looks like the most logical place to go because there's a bridge right here. But this bridge uh, can cause you extreme cold. Yeah, and it's very difficult to get across without the right armor and the spiced food. So I'm going to keep this Kabushin armor on and we're going to attempt to cross this bridge. And I do have myself on cloak so that no one is going to bother me. No enemies here. So as you can see, I'm fine so far. Now right here, you can see that my temperature gauge is dropping. Yeah, now I'm cold. And as we advance further, now I'm very cold. Yeah, now is a good time to probably take some spiced food because as we get to the center, now we are extremely cold. And as you can see, my health bar is now dropping and I have this frosty uh, aura around my screen. So we're going to go ahead and take some spiced pork for warming up. And as you can see, I am warming up and I have now gone back to just very cold. Now you want to make sure that you have plenty of spiced pork on you because you may need to re redo this before you actually get across the bridge. And if you are aggroed by these guys right up here, you're going to be battling them and you don't want to be uh, fighting very cold at the same time. Yeah or uh, extreme cold and be losing health. But as you see, once I get to them, I'm actually dropped back to cold. So it's just across the bridge and it is also anywhere on this frozen lake. So let's skip on down here. Once you get onto this ice, and I am still under warming up, so this is not going to show up right away. But anywhere on this ice, the temperature is going to start dropping. As you can see, it's already dropped to cold, but my spiced food is still working, so I am only cold. Yeah, now I'm very cold. <laughs> yeah. So this whole area right here, this lake and the bridge crossing to the Black Keep is one of the areas you are really going to need your spiced food food for. Now the other area, let me skip up here. And as you can see, the spice food actually lasts quite a bit. It's gone now, but as you can see, I am only cold. Now the only other area that you are going to have a lot of difficulty is here, the temple of frost. This is really meant to be at a level 60 and have armor that's going to protect you from this because uh, you are going to be uh, experiencing extreme cold in here, losing your health and trying to do battle at the same time with the giants in this dungeon and trying to take warming food and it can be very very difficult and if the frost giants hit you with their uh, frost attack uh, that will give you <laughs> extreme cold right away too so i highly recommend not attempting this area at all with this armor yeah you might want to wait until you're level 60 and get some of the better armors which is the uh, redeemed silent legion armor which is very very good for the cold and some of the other level 60 armors for that yeah and we can go over that at a different time
But again, you should be able to go into any of the other snowy areas as long as you have this armor on. And let me pop on this armor so that you can see what this looks like. Now this is, uh, again, as good as the Kabushin. You just have to be a uh, level 30 in order to make it. It's a lot more bulky looking, but if you like this look, and it does give you a lot more protection uh, against damage than the Kabushin does. So that's one of the advantages to this one. Uh, when you're coming up here and doing any fighting. So yeah, guys, those are the two best armors to start out coming up north. Yeah, you can make it up here to do anything you need to do with the exception of those couple of areas. So there may be others. And if you have found some, uh, please let me know. But as far as my experience has been, those are the only two places that you will need uh, spiced foods wearing these armors. So yeah, guys, well, I hope this was helpful. And uh, yeah, if you liked, give me that big old like. And if you would like to see more, just subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified when I post my next video. Well, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, GG out.